Hello. Hey guys, it's Judy here with My Life as Geek Guy and welcome to today's video. I'm really excited to be creating today's video because I'm going to be attempting to recreate the makeup look that Nicole Scherzingler had in their brand new official music video called React. It's been a while since the Pussycat Dolls dropped a song, but they have finally in the last week. If you guys have not yet seen that official music video, I'm going to leave it linked up here or in the description box down below so you can see snapshots of the makeup look that actually inspired the look that I'm going to be attempting to recreate today. I thought that that whole entire video was on fire. It was on fire, baby. If you appreciate risque art, really good dance choreography, and snapping hot makeup looks, then you'll probably enjoy this music video. You probably won't like it if you're a little bit of a prude. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> when I saw that video, I was very inspired to create this makeup look. Here are snapshots from the video that I took of what I'm going to be using as my inspiration photos for today's look. From the looks of these photos, it's very bronze, it's very glowy, it is contoured to the high heavens, also highlighted to the high heavens. So I'm going to be trying to recreate that whole bronze, contoured, sexy, smoky type of vibe. Obviously, I don't look anything like Nicole, but I'm going to try and recreate the makeup look regardless. I'm probably gonna try and make this a talk through tutorial if anything just talk you guys through what products I'm using so yeah before I get into this video if you're new here welcome to my YouTube channel my name is Judy I create videos of product reviews makeup tutorials and lifestyle advice if you have not yet subscribed I would really truly love it if you did hit that subscribe button also hit the notification bell because I put a new video out every single Sunday you can also follow me on social media Facebook Instagram and Twitter all of them are life as geek guy without further ado I'm gonna get straight into this video Right you guys, I'm going to start off with the eyes because the eyeshadow look is fairly smoky and fairly dark. So there's probably bound to be a bit of fallout, especially I think there is a bit of shimmer and glitter on the inner corner of the look as well. So there's bound to be a bit of fallout with the eyeshadows that I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to start with that before I go in with my face. I've just used the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer as my eyeshadow base because I do not actually have an eyeshadow primer. I probably should invest in something like that as eyeshadow primers are probably a bit more sticky. And they're exactly formulated for that particular purpose to make your eyeshadows last a lot longer. I haven't had any issues using concealer. I would just like to be able to try actual eyeshadow primer. So if you guys have one to recommend me what a good eyeshadow primer is, leave it in the comments down below and I will most likely check it out. Now also I'm not going to set down that concealer because I want a bit of a tackier base for the eyeshadows that I'm going to blend on top of. Now I can't really tell from the look whether the brown on her eyes is a shimmery brown or a matte brown. From different angles it looks like all of the makeup on her face is just shimmery but I think that's just this strategically placed highlight on her eyes and the lighting from the studio itself. I know that the makeup in this look is going to be incredibly heavy and if this is not your jam then <laughs> you don't really don't need to watch it. But if someone comes for me in the comments saying I don't like your makeup it's too heavy I'm gonna be like yeah I didn't notice. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Tati Beauty Textured Naturals palette for today's look and I'm going to be taking a bit of the shade Ritual in the pan and begin to blend that up into my crease and start to map out the shape of my eye. I have a very different eye shape to Nicole so I'm just going to be trying or doing my best to create the shape that I need for this eye look. Now from the looks of it, the dark eyeshadow, like the transition and crease is brought all the way up into the inner corner here. On her it looks great. For me, I don't think that looks quite good but because I am trying to recreate the look itself, I'm just gonna do that and see how it goes. Okay, so that first step has essentially mapped out where I'm going to deepen up the eye look and then leaving that center bit lighter where I'm going to highlight a little bit later on. I'm going to take a smaller fluffing blending brush. This is the JH40 and take that into a bit of this black here. Just a really light dip and I'm going to tap off a lot of the black on there. And I'm just going to start to blend this out along the lash line but not take it out too far. I'm just using this shadow to deepen up the look. And then as the shadow dissipates from the brush, I'm going to start to take this up gently into my crease as well. I'm going to be taking that small blending brush again into the shade Ritual and further tightly pack this into my crease and not take it up much further than the crease because I just want to really deepen up the crease there. Thank you. 
I'm gonna be taking that fluffy blending brush again with no further product and just blend out those edges. Now I'm gonna take a bit of sequin ritual and begin to tap this into the same exact spot in my crease. Just pat it in there really tightly. It's exactly the same shade as that first brown that I put down, but I'm wanting a little bit more of this sequin shimmer that that shade provides because this look is quite glittery and glowy and the eyelids are quite metallic from what I can see in the photos. Again, taking that fluffy blending brush with no extra product and blending out those edges. I'm just taking a little bit more of that shadow off on my color switch and then just further blending out those edges because I really don't want to deepen it up any further. I just want to blend out the edges. Now I'm going to go over the lids and pick up the shade Metallic Ritual. Just picking up a bit of that on the packing brush, giving it a bit of a spritz and I'm going to start to pack this all over my eyelid. photo the metallic on her eyelids come up fairly high so I'm gonna take up that metallic up above the transition as well I know I've just covered all that deep crease work that I've just done but it's not all for naught you can still see the bit of the depth underneath that shadow there building up and creating the layers I'm gonna take that small blending brush again the JH40 into the shade sequin ritual and just take up a little bit of that tap off the excess and continue to blend this up above the transition right here Now I know I don't have the skill set of these makeup artists, but these brushes and these eyeshadows are certainly making it a bit easier for me to be able to actually create a really nice eye look. <laughs> I wouldn't generally take metallic or sequin shadows up this high in the crease, but I'm actually really loving the way that the light's catching that sparkles and that metallic. Now I know it's very deep, dark, and smoky at the moment in the center of my lids. I would not normally bring a brown eyeshadow this close to the center of the eyes, but we are now gonna lighten it up and I'm gonna take a bit of the shade Metallic Soothe from the Tati palette. On that same packing brush, I just cleaned it off on my color switch and I begin to apply this on the inner corner of my eye. Now from the photos, it extends out further than her actual tear duct and it kind of comes out like right here. So let's start here. And the makeup artist brings that shimmer up kind of like right here as well. <laughs> Just taking that brush with no extra product and blending in those edges. I know it looks fairly crazy right now, but I'm just trusting the process. <laughs> Alright, now the brightest shade is right on the inner corner right here. So I'm going to take that flat packing brush again, cleaning off the extra eyeshadow on that. And this time I'm going to take it into Sequin Aura. I'm just going to use this to gently lighten up the inner corner right here. Now the under brow highlight in this particular look is a real one. So I'm gonna be taking the shade Metallic Aura and just using that to highlight under the brow. Okay, it's looking pretty crazy right now, but I'm gonna go into the rest of the face because I believe that the rest of the face makeup is gonna tie this whole entire look together. I already do have a bit of skincare on my face, but first of all, I'm gonna go in with the Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. I really love this moisturizer. It's really pore filling. It's quite blurring on the skin and it's also very moisturizing too. I didn't have very much fallout under the eyes from the eyeshadow. I love that. Okay, so this makeup look is very glowy, very bronzy and above all, very, very contoured. So I'm actually going to use the Scott Barnes contour and highlight technique before going in with my foundation. I first saw Scott Barnes use this technique on Tati Westbrook. I did actually try to recreate that look. So if you're interested in seeing it, I'm going to leave it linked up here or in the description box down below. So I'm going to be taking my RCMA Artistry palette and be taking that darkest shade there for contour just on that small flat packing brush and I'm going to be contouring my face to the heavens. I really wish I had the Blendiful to blend this out right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and just gonna blend in that contour.
I'm just going to be taking my sponge and dipping it into that light shade here in the RCMA palette. I'm going to be using that to highlight my face. On top of that highlight, I'm going to be taking some concealer because I actually do need to conceal under my eyes. And I'm just going to tap in a little bit of that, not too much. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer Pomade. And I'm just applying it to the inner corner of my eye and just taking it on the outer corner right here just to give my face a little bit of a lift. For foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Age Perfect Anti-Aging Radiant Foundation. I'm guessing from the name it's going to be quite uh, radiant and dewy. I'm hoping so anyway. I haven't actually used this one before, so it'd be quite interesting to see how it goes. I'm going to squeeze a bit on my hand. I hope it's my shade. <laughs> if it's not, I'm going to be using a lot of bronzer. <laughs> I guess it's close enough. Now I know the makeup in this music video is very heavy because it is a music video. You're dealing with studio light and long days and lots of dance choreography. There seemed to be a fair bit of water used in the making of the music video as well. Okay, that foundation is way too light for me. <laughs> I'll just add a fair bit of bronzer. I like the finish of it though. Okay, that's not my shade at all. <laughs> I'm not going to bake because I don't think it is entirely necessary. I just want a tiny little bit of powder to pop underneath the eyes to keep the concealer and the foundation from creasing. I'm going to use some of the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder. Press out all the creases first, take a tiny little bit on the sponge and just press that in. I don't think it's quite necessary to set the rest of my face because I'm wanting a lot of that luminosity to still shine through. I'm just taking some of that powder around my nose because that is where I crease the most and then I'm going to stop there. Now as far as contouring goes, I'm going to be using this expensive ass Kevin Aquan contouring powder that I bought while I was up on holiday in Queensland. I don't know why I bought it. Actually, I do know why I bought it. Kathleen Lights was recommending it a while back. She put it in a favorites video and she said it was so, so good that we needed to try it. Well, until now, I hadn't tried it and then when I bought it, I had instant regret because this little compact here was like $67 or something. I was gagging. I was gagging when I paid for it. But anyway, I have it, so I'm going to use it. I need a shaping brush that doesn't have Halloween makeup on it. Yes, don't judge me. I haven't cleaned the brushes yet that I used to create last year's Halloween looks. Don't judge me. This one is the JH10 brush. I'm just going to bring a bit more shape back into my face. You don't need much. That little bit of powder went a very long way. I love the shade of this contour powder though. Beautiful. Hmm, I like this. Better be worth the $67 I paid for it. It's looking so crazy right now, but don't worry. Don't worry, it'll all come together once the bronzer and blush is on. And I guess just the whole rest of the face is on. <laughs> I'm going to be taking this brush into the contour powder, blending this out under the jawline. Now I know for real life, this contour is probably very strong, but in the video, her contour is like... So, that's what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> okay, I love how that contour blended in really, really nicely, very smoothly. So I guess maybe it was worth the money. It came in this little bougie ass velvet pouch as well. Real talk, I would probably prefer to pay less and not get the velvet pouch. <laughs> For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Perfecting Powder and apply this to further warm up the face. I'm going to take some of that in a small brush as well and apply this under the lip. I'm wanting a bit of a shimmery type of bronzer, so I'm going to see if I can find one. Okay, so I've got the Juvia's Place Tribe Highlighter Volume 1. It's not a shimmery bronzer per se, but it is a very dark shimmery highlight. So I'm just going to take a bit of that and just like buff out the excess. I'm just taking a bit of excess powder that's on the lid here and just buff it out. It is broken, kind of smashed, so I'm just going to buff it out, bronze up with that. I don't have very much product on the brush, but you can already see highlighting me right there. I don't normally like shimmery bronzers because it uh, highlights the texture that I have on my cheeks, but for the sake of this video, I'm doing it. <laughs> That's a lot of makeup. <laughs> wow, let me just blend that out. 
Okay, I want a bit of blush too, but more of a neutrally peachy brown type of blush. So let me see what I've got. This one is the Fumi palette. So I'm just going to be taking some of that shade sister to sister. With no extra product on this brush, I just want to kind of blend it down here as well. Maybe just kind of try and narrow down my face a little bit more because I do have a very round and a very wide face. So I'm just trying to create the shadow and the illusions of a very sexy narrow face like Nicole has. <laughs> The highlight that Nicole has is a very contrasty highlight and it's probably more of a shimmery champagne gold. Now it's not a glittery one, it's probably more of a sheen. So first off I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and I'm going to use a sponge to apply this just as a bit of a base for the further highlight that I want to put on the rest of my face. Actually, I'm going to take some of that on the brush, preferably not a brush that has contour powder on it. Now to further apply a bit more of an intense highlight, I've got the Juvia's Place Tribe Highlighter in Volume 3, and this one is the lightest one out of all of them. That's probably a bit too light for me, but again, this look is very, very contrasty, and I want contrasty. So I'm going to go in with a bit of that. I'm going to use my sponge to apply it, and I'm also going to take a bit of that on the cheeks as well. Very, very highlighted and glowy here. I love it. Now I'm going to take some of that and apply it to under the brow as well and also on the inner corners of my eyes. Okay, so there are some angles and some parts on the video where I can't really tell if she's wearing glitter on her eyes. So you know what? I'm just going to add glitter on my eyes. <laughs> I'm going to pick up some of Glitter Soothe and just apply that on the inner part of my eye. Not going too crazy with the glitter, just want a little bit there, just a little something something, you know? <laughs> I feel like the eyes need to be deepened up a little bit, so I'm going to be taking uh, that small fluffy blending brush again into the shade Ritual Sequin and just further deepening up the look. Taking a tiny little bit of black as well. All right, now to finish off the eyes. This has taken me a long time. I'm gonna be taking a metallic brown gel eyeliner in my waterline. The look itself is very soft and dark and smoky. The waterline is smoky but soft, if that makes any sense. So I think a metallic gel eyeliner will achieve that. And this one is the ColourPop gel eyeliner in the shade Overboard. And I'm laying that on quite generously as well, almost kind of blending it into my lower lashes. I've got this brush here. It's kind of a flat top brush. This one is the JH43. And I'm going to be taking it into a little bit of this black, not too much. And I'm going to stamp this under the lower lash line. Now taking the JH40 again into the shade Sequin Ritual, and I'm going to blend this out under the lower lash line. And I'm going to make it quite smoky as well. I'm really liking the direction that this look is heading. I'm gonna go in with some winged eyeliner, mascara, and possibly some lashes, and I shall be right back. Six and a half hours later. All right, I am back. I have mascara, lashes, and eyeliner on. When I was applying that eyeliner, I realized in the photo she doesn't actually have winged eyeliner on, just a very, very smoky lash line. So I applied the eyeliner, and then I smoked it out with some black eyeshadow. I also applied a very generous layer of mascara. I'm currently using the Makeup Design High Definition Waterproof Mascara. I could just get this from Woolies for I think it was like six dollars and the lashes These are just a pair of very uncomfortable ones that I struggled very intensely to put on But I've got them on now for the sake of this look <laughs> Now I'm gonna go in with lips. She has a very defined contoured lip situation going on in this video I'm gonna try and use this snitchery technique to make my lips look more pouty and full um, I'm not gonna talk through it because it's probably gonna take me much longer than it really should So I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing and I'm gonna get into it <laughs> Closer to each other, so much to discover. I can't help but feeling 
Well, I don't think I've ever seen my lips look this bratty. Do I look ridiculous? Yes. Do I like it? Also yes. <laughs> I even have the long curly black hair to go with it. Let's see if I can put this on and make it look semi-decent. And I'll show you the finished look. One step more and now we're far from everything we had. I don't know how people with long hair do it. <laughs> this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed creating it. It took me a long time. Uh, I think it took me about an hour and a half to create this whole entire look. But I hope you guys appreciate it. <laughs> I really like the dark, smoky brown eye and the super highlighted and contoured skin. I would never wear this type of makeup look out in a normal everyday life instance. But for this look, I think I nailed it pretty good. I kind of wish I didn't wear that foundation because it has a pink undertone, whereas I have a naturally yellow undertone. As you can see, the skin tone difference from my face to my body. But you know what? It's done now. It's finished. I like the finish of it though. It's a very glowy, highlighty type of foundation. Look at those glowy cheeks. Oh my goodness, look at those glowy cheeks. Ah! Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell because I put out a new video every single Sunday. Let me know what you guys think of this look. Let me know in the comments what you think of the new Pussycat Dolls song called React. Let's have a conversation in the comments section. If you like seeing me try and recreate makeup looks from popular music videos, then leave some links of some music videos that you want to see me recreate makeup looks out of from. And yeah, let's hope that inspiration hits me to recreate some of them. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for being here. I really truly appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today and I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye! I actually like this black hair. I'm letting my natural color grow out black again, so maybe I'll look like this in a few months time. <laughs> you probably won't like that music video if you... Uh, if you click on it and you realize you don't like it. What am I saying? <laughs> what the hell am I saying? Obviously, I don't look anything like Nicole, but this vibe and the whole look is... Obviously, I don't look anything like Nicole, other than the fact that she is Asian and I am also Asian. <laughs> no, she is Hawaiian. She looks Asian. Strategically... But I think that's just the strategic strip. <laughs> and just further tightly pack this into my transition here. And just further tight this pack and... So I'm gonna go in with the Scott Barnes Borns. I've got the Juvia's Place highlighter in the volume. I've got the Juvia's Juvia's. I've got the Ju I've got the Juvia's I've got the Juvia's Place Tribe highlighter in volume three. I've got the Juvia's <laughs> I'm liking the direction that this hood that this hook is heading. <laughs> this hook is... Alright, be sure to subscribe if you haven't and ring that notification bell because that I put it. <gasps> be sure to be sure to...